Mr. Bakshi, you have a very impressive film as far as what you have done to advance the technique of animation. And I think that even people who don't know an awful lot about filmmaking and animation will still be aware that, hey, this is something different. What are some of the firsts that you have used in this film, Lord of the Rings? <clears throat> well, in, a, in its simplest form, um, the attempt in Lord of the Rings was to create the first realistic painting in motion ever. Um, that means proportion, realistic proportion characters moving as a live action motion picture character would move with the same frame by frame grace and ease. Uh, to be able to do thousands of warriors traveling across plains and fighting, you know, the epic adventure that epic adventure needs. Um, and to achieve that end result, I shot an entire live action movie of Lord of the Rings and then retraced every frame of film back to an animation character with the same amount of people on the live action. If there were 200 horsemen and the 200 horsemen were redrawn and put that over what is traditional painted backgrounds and created this realistic painting movie. And um, if that's different, by God, I've done it. <laughs> that's never been done before to your knowledge? It's never been done before. There are very few crazy people on this planet, and I don't think I'll ever do it again. <laughs> <laughs> then what are some of the other firsts in the Well, Lord of the Rings? I, oh, in Lord of the Rings. Well, that's a lot. That's a lot. But if you want to continue, um, it's the first epic adventure, complex story ever done in animation, this complexity. It's done for adults instead of just for children. Uh, it was the first time I did it, so it's a first for me. Um, and you still want more first? That's a lot. Um, it took two and a half years to make, but that's not a first. I'm sure other animated features took that long. Some of the animation and some of the action, Mr. Bakshi, appears that we still have some of the live action with maybe just a suggestion of animation over it. Is that so? No. Um, it's so realistic. If you looked at each frame of film, if you froze the frame of film and you looked at it, you'd see a drawing. But the total effect is exactly what I wanted. You know, it's real. You know, if Rembrandt, you take a Rembrandt painting, it's totally realistic. You look at it, it's a face you recognize, it's beautifully painted. If that moved, that would be what we did on Lord of the Rings. In other words, it's realistic and that was his approach, but every frame of film was hand drawn. Um, and it's the new technique, and that's exactly what I was asked to. You know. there, the reason I'm belaboring this, if it does seem belabor, <laughs> belabor away, because I labored for two and a half years. <laughs> because I really think, Mr. Bakshi, that yeah. some people are going to look at it and they're going to say, well, it's a mixture of live action and animation. Well, it's not, but what if they do? You know, the, the whole purpose, suddenly, the world will become purist in animation. is ridiculous. The whole person, <clears throat> purpose of a film director it's not necessarily how he did something, but how you feel when you're watching it. The whole purpose in Lord of the Rings is to make you believe what you're looking at on the screen. I did not, but if I chose to use live action in it, I would have used it. I, that doesn't deter the filmmaking ability. In fact, Heavy Traffic used all live action backgrounds with animation, which is a film I did. And um, So it's not so much what I really did, though I really drew it all, it's how you feel when you're looking at it, and that's the end result of any film. You know, if I use live action, and I would say it, because I've, four of my films had live action in it. This is just hand-drawn, which makes it different. You know, am I clear? Mm -hmm. How do I use live action? I'm going to deny it for a second. The animator, I'm, I'm, I wish I could have been there when they were working because I'm... No, you don't. <laughs> no, okay, okay. <laughs> Scrap that. I, I would like to know, the animator, what, where was he drawing? Was it projected on a flat oh, surface? the technique. I'll yeah. Well, I shot the entire film live, and then I reproduced everything into photographs, 8 by 10 stills of every frame. That went to the animator. I, I did the first and last drawing to show him how to alter the shapes. I mean, shapes have to be altered. If you trace live action exactly, it's boring and sterile. What shapes I wanted altered, what refinements, and what left out. And he proceeded to get the rest of the photographs in the scene and draw away. Did any of the animators ever feel restricted? And did they? F they did. Absolutely. Um, 
you know, where an animator had to create his own motion, here his motion was given to him. He had to, he had to redraw it. And to get around that problem, which I understood, I hired um, out of our schools across the country people who have never been in the animation industry and people, let me call them the new animator, people who would not resent doing that because their draftsmen have never animated and, and their joy is just drawing. And that's how I got around that problem. And you're the first person to ask me. <laughs> <laughs> Which is like in 10 interviews, that's, that's, that's marvelous. One thing that fascinated me very much as I watched it, and at first, I'll be honest with you, Mr. Bakshi, I thought, that's distracting and I don't think I like that. And then as it went on, I thought, wow, this is so fantastic. I want to ask you why you did what you did with the eyes. When the orcs, little the, beady eyes? Everybody's eyes, almost. Um, well, look at your eyes. I mean, eyes are very interesting. I mean, you, uh, there's a lot, people's eyes denote their character. You can say, without saying anything about the person, it's how you draw the eyes that would tell you a lot about the person. But aren't these eyes different from any eyes that have been animated before? Or yes, it's the way I see eyes, you know. But was, what was the, the what was the purpose? To stare at you. I, I like to draw eyes my animated characters to stare at you so you don't stare at them. In other words, you, the people in the audience are on the defensive. It's a trick I picked up um, in Heavy Traffic and some other of my <clears throat> less PG films. Because you're on trial, not the film. What is the rating of this, by the way? PG. Parental it, guidance. And for what reason? PG? Uh, no, God I knows what the rating board is. I don't, I don't know how they decide. Is it the violence? It's the action. Let's call it action. <laughs> oh, come uh, on. When you stab somebody like that, that's well, violence. I, absolutely violent. And Tolkien in his battle scenes was totally violent, and I did reproduce that. But orcs aren't exactly people, are they? Oh, I think so. Oh, my I God. Believe. You were right, yes. <laughs> I believe. <laughs> um, I do... Violence should be shown if it's a violent scene, sure. I wish I'm, yes. Are you anticipating doing any further cutting from what we saw last night? Oh, it's a fr yeah, possibly. I uh, saw the film for the first time. I, some of the horse run scenes went a little longer. About a minute or two might leave the film. It's a two hour and 16 minute film. It's the first time I saw it with an audience. I just finished the film Wednesday and uh, I was quite pleased with um, the little amount of work I, that I have left on it. You know, it's a couple of hours work cutting it and that's it. If you, um, not that I, w I wouldn't ask you to compare, but um, as you view this at, with an audience and thinking back to when you first viewed Wizards with an audience, Fritz mm -hmm. the Cat with an audience, what comparisons are there, if any? Well, what's interesting about yesterday's audience is what it, it's an audience that it, I felt that necessarily doesn't look at animation. I mean, most of my other audiences, because of Fritz and everything, uh, were was much younger and much more vocal. Um, I had an audience last night that really, probably most of them hadn't seen an animated feature for 10, 20 years, and I found that extraordinarily interesting. No one left. One person left. Um, I found that as some sort of victory, I guess. Of course, one has to be optimistic. <laughs> um, I forgot the question. <laughs> you, were, you were very much in uh, to this property for a long time, weren't you? Yes. I first read Tolkien in 1956 and fell in love with it and, and tried to make it about every other year since that time. And finally, you, United Artists, who always owned the rights, um, allowed me to make it. And that's when I called Saul, the producer, and asked him if he wanted to make it with me. But it, it wasn't all that easy. You had to really sell them, didn't you? Yeah. What, what made them turn around? What, what, what made them give in and say, okay, Bakshi, we'll do it? Oh, well, they had $800,000 worth of attempts in it. And if I, <laughs> um, I don't know. You, know. you never know. You never ask. They said, yeah, and I ran out of the office. In other words, I didn't even wait to take the elevator. Um, uh, finally, they had said yes, and I didn't question them when I owed it. You know what I mean? I, just, and I still don't know why. <laughs> but I'm very happy they finally came to their senses. Mr. Bakshi, it is indeed an interesting film, and I Thank think you. that um, people will go see it. I think your younger crowd and your people who are really into Tolkien, 
I think they will discuss it endlessly. I'm sure they right. will. I think that probably uh, they will be maybe pleased with some of the images and displeased with others, but then that's what makes filmmaking the great game it is. Well, as Priscilla Tolkien said, Mr. Baxter, no matter how beautifully you do the film, there will always be someone who finds something wrong with it. That's been said of every film that was ever made, I'm sure. Yes. <laughs> okay. She was talking about The Lord of the Rings. Mr. Bakshi, nice meeting you. Oh, pleasure. Call again. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. 